today we did run out of testing kits, but Mondays over the last few weeks have just been really busy. A spike in COVID-19 cases in Wisconsin is now affecting testing. It comes as the state hits another milestone in this coronavirus pandemic. But first, some breaking news out of the city of Milwaukee. Just minutes ago, the city releasing an updated health order. Yeah, literally, it's just coming out. It goes into effect on Thursday. Now, here is exactly what is changing. Public gatherings limited to 25% site capacity. Indoor events at 10 people maximum. Outdoor events capped at 25 people. Religious and political events are restricted to 100 people. Restaurants and bars without a safety plan capped at 25% capacity. And dance floors, they're shut down entirely. Team sports, intra squad, or intra school events only, with exceptions for those schools with approved safety plans. This gets us to our big story at five, and it's related. Communities ramping up testing across southeastern Wisconsin amid the state's continued surge in COVID-19 cases. Madeline Anderson joining us live in Waukesha County, where the up to 3,000 people can be tested per week. Madeline, that sounds high for Waukesha County, but that's the number, 3,000. Yeah, and so far they say that the county staff say that they have not reached that 3,000 test capacity. But here at the Expo Center, they did reach their daily capacity this afternoon and had to close four hours early. The Waukesha County Expo Center parking lot sits empty Monday afternoon after the COVID-19 free community testing site ran out of tests by 1.15 p.m. Mondays over the last few weeks have just been really busy. Waukesha County's Emergency Preparedness Coordinator Bridget Gannat assures residents that the county has more than enough tests for the remainder of the week, urging those who were turned away to come back when the drive through site is less busy. We have not yet maxed out our testing capacity. Anticipating a fall surge in coronavirus cases, the county's Department of Health and Human Services teamed up with Village Primary Care Providers and the National Guard to ramp up testing efforts through the end of the year. The testing capacity has increased by about 250% since the second week of October. A partnership, Gannat says, is an important piece of the increasingly challenging puzzle of controlling the spread of the virus. It helps us identify cases of COVID-19 so that appropriate contact tracing and disease investigation can occur and people can be provided with the appropriate information on what precautions they can take to prevent further spread. And the Expo Center is open five days a week, able to administer up to 450 tests. The National Guard will be transitioning out of here on December 9th, but the site will remain open. Carroll University also offers a free community testing site. That one is by appointment only and open Tuesdays and Thursdays. Reporting live in Waukesha County, Madeline Anderson, Fox 6 News. All right, Madeline, thank you.